Hello guys, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Have a happy day to you. And today we are going to talk about the basic wiring for the EVR 150. Since this one uh, we are using always for the synchronizing, because this one is very good for the paralleling conditions. There is a lot of features you can use of this EVR, and it is uh, very perfect for the usage like synchronizing as well so I don't want to talk about more so let's go to our topic the basic wiring for our EVR this is from Leroy Sumer EVR R150 so okay guys uh, let's take a look to our um, uh, diagrams and for our uh, uh, manual for our uh, EVR 150 so here it comes guys so for example here is our uh, EVR so this is all the connections that we have here and basic uh, information about this EVR so let's go around here so technical specifications for our EVR is the sensing input of this is we have here the 240 VAC at plus minus 10% so at single phase you have the 380 volts 2480 VAC and it is also applicable in 3 phase sensing EVR which is you have always uh, the value of uh, 240 sensing okay so in here you have the output power of 415 volts 3 phase and 240 volts for single phase this is applicable for uh, 50 60 uh, hertz and the output uh, power for this EVR is 105 VDC at 240 VEC input so this is uh, EVR is having a 6 amperes DC up to 8 amperes for 30 seconds when allowed by the resistance okay so this is applicable temperature is around 20 degree to 70 degree celsius so this voltage settings plus minus 10 percent at the rated voltage so if you have the external potentiometer so you can install this one is 2 to 2.5 kilo ohms so this is also plus minus 10% uh, so this is 1 watt and the rest is you have also the drop city and the auxiliary input is a1 e2 which is this one is applicable for the paralleling only so <clears throat> if under frequency also is uh, available below 46 to 50 hertz below and uh, 60 hertz is 50 to 60 hertz so that is only the basic information for that and uh, so let's go to our wiring connections so so this AVR is powered by line to line line to neutral terminals as of AC generators to 20 VAC this is 5060 this is regulated sensing voltage is based on generator line to line terminal okay so here is our uh, connections so as you can see here uh, first we are going to talk about this line here so we have here the R1 R2 this is your uh, connections for your potentiometer or this is uh, the uh, where you can adjust the external uh, voltage for your uh, AVR you just remove the link here and apply the 2k or 2.5 
k ohms for your uh, potentiometer so these two here r1 and r2 just remove the link and connect that wire then the next is our drop city this is only applicable for the paralleling or the synchronizing just remove that one q2 and q1 just remove the link and connect your uh, drop city connections just follow the instruction here so is 2 is connected to your q2 and is 1 should be connected to your uh, q1 so if 2 it is very familiar to you uh, if you are installing the AVR so if 2 as you can see here is as you can see it here I mean is this is your negative uh, connections from your excited field and your positive it is connected from your F1 so here is our sensing by the way so we have the neutral here and we have the WV so okay so neutral it is connected to our T5 or V2 okay so this is one coil only and the other one is W which is connected to your T3 and your V is connected to your T2 okay so in other words that uh, V is connected V is connected from here so this is from your line 2 connections and W is connected from your line 3 connections so here guys uh, we will talk about here the E1 and E2 so E1 and E2 is used only for your paralleling uh, connections or uh, synchronizing connections which is uh, these connections is uh, used for your for example you're doing the connections uh, for the synchronizing so this is connected to the module this is the uh, uh, what we call here is the um, biasing uh, connections for your uh, module this is the AVR uh, side you have the governor side and the AVR side correct so in the module you you see there the AVR side so here you can connect that one so it will inject your uh, module from uh, 1 to 5 volt VDC so in order to uh, adjust automatically your voltage okay so this is the connections for your digital uh, uh, voltage adjustment or what we call for our uh, module biasing okay so around here the EC S and UF so EC this is the one where you can adjust uh, the maximum or the minimum uh, value you can inject from E1 and E2 so E1 and E2 so this is the module controlled uh, voltage how much the value you will inject the voltage from here from uh, uh, 1 to 5 volts VDC that one so here you can in adjust or you can control it here how much you can uh, uh, apply it like for example it is too much uh, it is uh, uh, high voltage you can adjust it here if you don't want to put the maximum value you can inject from here so this is the control from this E1 E2 this EC so this voltage here this is the small potentiometer here this is the adjustment for your voltage okay so this is the adjustment for your drop CT this is from your drop CT this is your adjustment here so if you have uh, unstable voltage or there is some fluctuations here and this is you can adjust the stability of your uh, voltage as well so under frequency here also if you have some uh, set point for that uh, under frequency I will show you what is the functions for that so it's, a, it's under frequency knee points so you can see that one 
uh, for your shit points for example you want like how many percent only in order to shut down or for under frequency okay so it will automatically detect uh, your AVR if it is under uh, under frequency already <coughs> okay so here is your um, connections for your 50 and 60 so if it is uh, um, 50 it is linked here and it's 60 it is linked from here so here guys uh, I will show you also so here they are written q1 q2 is for the paralleling operations uh, just remove uh, this is t2 so here is t2 yeah so this is the link here okay that we call this t2 so just remove that one and then connect your wiring from your uh, group ct and then the r1 and r2 so this is your external potentiometer as i told you so just remove the st1 or this is the link here because this one having the link in the original package for that just remove and install your wiring just make sure that your connections to your potentiometer it is correct because if it is wrong it will not work okay instead of your adding it will become minus so just make sure for that so that is very simple how we can connect this kind of EBR and this is easy uh, to install this uh, kind of EBR so as I told you here um, uh, there's nothing about it this is uh, the basic informations that we are going to know about the no voltage how to uh, how to uh, what we call the troubleshooting uh, issues for the AVR but it is uh, easy to uh, check that one so that's it uh, how our connections are done by this wiring we just follow the wiring installations and don't be confused for that if you know the uh, wiring from your uh, alternator if it is six leads or 12 leads where you can connect that one so in here do not confuse yourself so always connect it at one coil only if you know and if you understand the connections you can connect anywhere that one if this one is one coil only so as you can see one coil one coil so in here you can get only the voltage around depends on what connections you are so as I told you this one is the voltage sensing is to 40 okay this is uh, 50 60 generated okay so if you have any questions guys about this AVR just comment down below to our channel and so I can uh, reply you there and you can also message me in my uh, Facebook group so there we can share our topic about it so don't forget to like and subscribe also for those who are new to my channel and don't be afraid to ask if you have some doubts and questions about it so once again Vince Blog is here we are done to our uh, basic wiring for our uh, AVR so see you again in my next vlog bye bye